That was a lovely song to start off a new day in Hyrule. And this son of a gun was ruining it. Gonna get all y'all. Okay, maybe I'm just gonna have to back it up and slow it down. Ugh. I, got, I lost almost all my hearts doing that, but it was worth it. Hello, everyone. This is Quiver C. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda. Hate of the Birds. Mm. Which is to say, Twilight Princess. Last time, I went and did a few things of shopping and uh, exploring around Kakariko and a teeny bit around Faron. We got a couple of new items, such as the bombs. And the Hawkeye. This place has too many doggone birds, man. But now there is nothing left to do but prove, but the. I can't talk today. I don't know what's wrong with me. I, I, I started to say prove when I wanted to say push. On the plus side, my flubbing made me stop and I can hear and see a buggy bug. Yoink! Oh, no, don't roll, Link. Pick it up. A phasmid! Also known as a stick bug. Cool. That is another bug for the collection. But now, we must press on across the Great Bridge of Elden. Much more peaceful without the Bulbins doing their thing. There's one of those owl statues over to the right. Nothing we can really do with that, of course. Oh, I see things. I see things that I want to do. For starters, I want to blow up this rock. Oh. Okay, well, first of all, 40 rupees. Always a, always a treat. I wanted to go up to that cave up there, but I, I can't. See that little mark on the wall there? Can't interact with that yet. But, I can probably get that bug. Hi, up. Where are you? Up. Oh, Link! Yeesh. The other Phasmid. Good stuff. Another pair. We'll have three pairs ready to go when the time comes now. Okay. And I'm not seeing much else we can actually do over here, so let us uh, not waste any more time. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Oh. What's this? <gasps> Looks like some dark forces have decided they want that piece of the bridge. That's right. We can't go through the Bridge of Elden anymore. But, we can kill some shadow beasts and open up a portal there. In fact, I think this is our first time fighting shadow beasts as uh, Link Link and not as Wolf Link. I want to do this without getting off of a Pona. For no other reason than I think it's amusing. Ugh. Okay, I might not be able to. Like, it's not that it's impossible. I just might not be good enough. Or they could just charge into me twice and die. That works. Yeah. First time fighting the Shadow Beasts as a Link instead of as Wolf Link. 
obviously operates under the same rules, but without Midna's super-powered aura attack. Oop. Didn't mean to run into that wall there. Come on, Epona! Ooh! Hello, Mr. Bublin. You have alerted me to a side path. What lies over here? Anything I can do? No. Don't really understand why that's there, actually. Maybe there's something I'm forgetting that we can do later. Got another bridge and... <clears throat> I didn't mean to charge, but I'm okay that I did. All right, let's get off of Epona for a moment. Hey! Got him. Whew. This looks destructible. But looks can be deceiving, I guess. Weird, I thought for sure that was a bombable wall. There's also something over here and something down there, but we can't really do anything about this yet. But gotta remember that mark along the wall. It is of importance. I seriously feel like that I'm supposed to be able to bomb this though. I'm gonna give it one more just in case I did something wrong. Well, that's doing nothing. How strange. How very, very strange. Okay, yeah, Epona will not get any closer to the Twilight than that. She's too smart to go towards it. Ah, oh, we're finally here. There's only one used shadow left. So this is the last of the Twilight you'll see, I guess. Whether or not you accomplish your final task and survive is up to you. <laughs> so what will you do? Yeah, Minna says this is the last time we'll see the Twilight, but uh, we know better. That ain't gonna happen. There's gonna be more. Want me to let you into the Twilight? Yes, please. Yoik! <laughs> and we are now done. All right then, I guess I'll have to help you. But what a shame that this is the last of the twilight. I have become so fond of seeing it covering this world. Or is it really the last you'll see? <laughs> so shall we get going? You got it. Oh, we got them jingle bats already. Jingle bats, you're amusing, but you are not trumpet bird. So I feel no qualms in killing you. Oh, hello. A scent. Upon a bag. What might this be? Give it a sniff. It is the satchel of Ilya. But Link, can you at least promise me this? Just come home safely. Forget the youth scent and learn a new smell? Yeah, you can only have one scent at a time. I don't remember if that ever becomes important. But yes, we will forget the youth scent. You've learned the scent of Ilya. You smell the girl, don't you? I can tell by the look on your face. Well, good, it's another clue then. But the scent could be quite old. I wonder if she's still all right. <laughs> Out of context, the implications of 
what what Minda's saying um, lead to potential concerns. And that is all I'm saying on that subject. Anyways, we must follow Ilya's trail. Ooh. The castle. Hey, haven't we seen this castle before? <laughs> so we finally made it back here. Well, only a little farther, so hang in there. Or so I'd like to say, but uh the going's a lot harder from here on out. <laughs> Alright then, let's get started! Minna, why is it going to be a lot harder from here on out? What do you know that we don't? I mean, you're right, but... Again, how do you know this? Anyways, we are still following the trail. Ignoring the Boko. Ignoring the trumpet bird. But glad that he's here to make an acquaintance. Whoa! And I should not have ignored that Boko. Listen, when I'm on the trail as Wolf Link, I just want to follow the doggone trail. I am honed in to the senses of the dog. <laughs> Had to move my uh, gamepad a little bit out of the way earlier, so... A little bit trickier. Didn't want to read the letter. Didn't want to read the letter. It was a little bit trickier for me to uh, to get it and rescan the Ganon. Okay, back to following the smell of pink. The youth smell like brown and Ilya smells like pink. Wonder what color other scents would be. Perhaps we will find out later. Truth be told, I know that it, I'm pretty sure that you use it more, but I only remember one other part of the game where you use this mechanic. Zig and zag to dodge those arrows so we can continue to follow unabated. This is quite the trail. Going quite far. Looks like we're about to exit this part of the field. Yep. Where are we going now? A much smaller province, if the map is to be believed. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised we haven't hit any shadow beasts uh, in this neck of the twilight yet. We should be hitting some at some point. I guess not yet, because now we are entering Hyrule Castle Town. Okay, I got to admit, the brightness of the sky here really works well just because of the looming castle overhead. But yes, we are now in Hyrule Castle Town where all the citizens are not but spirits. Hey, so did you hear? They say that a Zora child collapsed near here. I thought Zoras were typically all up north, right? I wonder why he came down here. Well, I had the kids taken to the bar on the other side of the southern road. The bar, you mean Toma's place? Oh, she's got a rough. That seems like a clue of something we might want to look into. We can't really listen to some of these folks, the guys that are kind of just walking along their way. But others that we can listen to may have helpful tidbits of information, like what we just heard there. Of course, we also still have Ilya's trail to follow. Honestly, if it weren't for the fact that they're in the twilight, it's like... They look like they're going about a pretty standard day. I mean, heck, look over here even. 
We got minstrels just playing the tune, singing a song. You wouldn't even think anything was wrong. I mean, they don't know that they are spirits, right? So, if they aren't being attacked by the dark spirits, one has to wonder, what could their problem be? I don't know. Well, a lot of questions that their situation brings us. Medical clinic. It would appear that Ilya was taken into the medical clinic and has since departed. Also, what's this? Could it be a bone? I, I want... I want bone. Bone! We have a bone! Now, can we find somewhere where we might be able to bury it, as the dog do? I'm not seeing any good spots here. We can't get into the medical clinic either, so let's keep moving. With bone in mouth, of course. Oh, it doesn't transition with you. That sucks. Hello. Cats. <sighs> Human movement is so rushed and disorganized. Maybe we should go to the central plaza to perform reconnaissance. Okay. Ugh, I really want to take a bath. You're a cat. You bathe yourself. If you want a bath, give yourself one. The person in the tent on the southeast street makes me suspicious now. Southeast street, huh? Because of the crowd at the 7th Street, all the kittens can't get through. What's happening? Lot of conversational pieces from them cats. A lot of things we might want to keep our eyes open for. Hey, what's this? Uh, listen. Thank you. I heard a boy pass out. When? Where? I don't know. Probably in reference to the Zora child. Okay, what? Uh, it's on Southeast Street. That should be this way? Hmm? Wait, what's this say? What's this say? Fortune Telling Mansion. Fanati's Place. Uh, I kind of remember that. I think I know what that's for later. Agatha's Castle. I know exactly what that's for. But, well, it'll be a bit before we can deal with any of that. And now we're on the East Road. This is back near where we came in. And Ilya's scent is not here right now, so... I guess that the point made by the... I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, they said it was a tent. They said it was a tent. There was a tent. So we can still see what the cats are talking about. It's right there. It's that... It's this... This... This is a tent. Play the star game. That's all the rage in Hyrule. Don't you want to be a star too? I vaguely remember this game. Uh, talk to the dude. <laughs> Soon I shall make a killing off this town. Hmm. I see why the cats are suspect. We may have to pay that dude a visit later. You know, when uh, he's not a spirit and we're not a dog. Okay. Back to following the trail. Up, 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 up. And in we go. Telma's Bar. Ah, yes, we heard of Telma's place. Apparently the collapsed Zora child had fallen here. Well, look at that. It's Ilya. And Azora. This boy. Can you save him? All right, little lady. Try to settle down, okay? I just now sent the doctor. But this is strange. A child 
of the Zoros. I wonder if this isn't all related to the incident the soldiers were talking about in back. Ah, what an emotional reunion! Yes, a girl and her wolf. <laughs> Sorry, but you know how it goes. These folks can't see you either. <laughs> Oh, man. That's a shame. But, uh, looks like Ilya is in the middle of something important. Trying to help out a collapsed Zora kid. This boy is just so young, so innocent, to see him suffering like this. He'll be alright, little lady. Someone's already gone to the doctor. I want to tell you, though, from what those soldiers are talking about, to everything else, I'm sure it's been a rash of trouble lately. Okay, well, let's see what these soldiers have been talking about. Oh, the map. I've received orders from above to investigate why we can't go to the Spirit Spring in Lake Highlander. Got that? You can't go to the Spring of Lake Hylia, huh? We've had a ton of complaints from citizens who can't send prayers to the Spring Spirit of Lake Hylia. Go there! The location is the one I showed you on the map earlier. Got it? What? Study it and know it well. Something tells me the short one ain't good at following directions. Okay. So we have learned a few things. We now know where Ilya is. We know that she went to the medical clinic for some reason. And we know that she is watching over a Zora child. And if we want to make things better, we're going to have to go to the Lanayru Spirit Spring at Lake Hylia. Hi! I heard you! That wasn't supposed to happen. I didn't realize I could find dark bugs yet. I didn't know they were here. Like, we haven't even met the spirit yet and gotten the grapevine. Without the vine, how are we going to get the grapes? Hey. Hey, hey. Hey, mister. Mister the bug. Gotcha. The answer is we're not. But it is here. Also... Gotta make sure I turn on the de the dwarf. So, yeah, we can't pick up the Tear of Light. Because we don't have the vessel with which to store it. What in the world is going on here? I guess this is a butcher. Okay, it's much more clearly a butcher now that I'm not in uh, super sensory mode. Oh, we can't go this way. What's going to happen now is that we run out of hot spring water, too? I don't know what's going to happen to you. I have a limited supply of hot spring water. The race goes to the swiftness, it is said. No pushing. If you want hot spring water, for one line. There seems to be a shortage of spring water. Probably because they of the issues that they were talking about, about uh, the spring at Lanayru. Or, um, Lake Hylia. Lanayru spring at Lake Hylia. There we go. <laughs> What about over this away? Where might this lead? These are the gates of Hyrule Castle itself. Ugh. How long do I have to let shift this over? Couldn't tell ya. Either way, we cannot go inside. Hmm. Okay, so we need to go to Lake Hylia. Aww. Um. Right. Okay, so I need to go back out the way we came, and there's another path we got to take. I just didn't even check because I was following Ilya. Which I think means that technically we could have gone to the spring without seeing Ilya at all. Anyway, let's head out and 
find ourselves a spirit spring. I'm just gonna knock him down and bolt. Over the ridge, down the hill. This isn't the right place. This is not the right place. Hmm. How strange. How very strange. Oh, wait. I think I see what I did wrong. There's like another little divot off to the side. That's where I was supposed to go. Uh, apparently, I wasn't paying close enough attention when I opened up the big map. Yeah, this is the way. Okay. Can't go that way because we don't have our bombs right now. I would say we lack the opposable thumbs required to use them, but uh, I feel like we could potentially use them by just putting it in our mouth, setting it down, and then getting a source of fire and lighting it. We've already proven we can do the second part, at least, as a wolf. Lake Hylia's newest hangout, fire and Falby's water top land of fantastication. Head left for the flight by foul main attraction. I remember this and I both love and hate it. The sign being one of the reasons I kind of hate it. I don't know, something about that depiction of the dude's face. It's, it's a little uncanny. <laughs> Oh! The Great Bridge of Hylia. Similar to the Great Bridge of Elden. Although, this ain't much of a lake, is it? Yeah, it seems it uh, might be missing a little something, like, uh, I don't know, water? And lots of it. What's this say? Great Hylian Bridge. This large bridge spanning Lake Hylia is the largest in Hyrule and offers excellent lake views. I thought that the Great Bridge of Elden was supposed to be bigger. Anyways, uh, see the little dark spots here on the ground of the bridge? We can touch it. It doesn't hurt us. But uh, it's not a good sign. Hey, do you smell anything funny? Yep. It's oil. You know, it took so long to do all that, Link could have easily just run up and sniped him before he had a chance. Oh no, we're trapped! Yeah, get out of here! That's the plan. Luckily, there are two crates right here where this has been happening. Up, up, and off the cliff! Luckily for us, there is still some water in Lake Hylia. Just not a lot. Sploosh! <sighs> that was a close one. We're looking there with a puddle down below, huh? What so, this is Lake Hylia. But there's so little water. Sounds like the Spirit Spring should be around here somewhere as well. Anyway, let's take a look around. Sounds like a plan to me, Midna. Sounds like a plan to me. Let's start by taking a look at spirits. The drop in water has been faster than predicted. At this rate, Lake Highway will dry up. It's a race against time. We've had absolutely no water flowing from upstream. There's no mistaking it. Something must have happened to the water source in our home, Zora's domain. Yet, how are we to return upstream to our home? With the way things are now, we can't even walk back there. 
It seems that the Zoras are having a plight. One that threatens their home and very way of life. Indeed. Quite literally, they are fish out of water. And... Now we're looking at one of the reasons why I love the, the thing that the sign was talking about up above. Yup. Fire and Fobby's water top land of fantastication. Free admission. Cash required for each ride. <laughs> it's free if you pay us money. I don't think that's how that works. Uh, I'm too old for this. Fire and Fobby's water top land of fantastication. It's a grand reopening at our new lake bottom location. We. Yeah, nice lake. Don't lakes have more, I don't know, water? Did the Zoras live up river do something? Or is it a curse from that spirit that floats around up there? Oh, whatever. It's not like I can go up and complain. That's way too high. Uh. What's that? A customer? Yeah, it's a monster! I just remembered something we get to do here, and it's kind of fun. Hi! Oh! Looks like this Shadow Boko's got an idea. Oh, what? You gonna just send a hawk after us, you silly guy? We've dealt with that. Except for one problem. We're in the twilight. Yep. He managed to summon a trumpet bird. And now he's riding it. Ow. I got got by the dude's arrows. I had a bad feeling it was going to happen. All right. Let's try this again. There we go. Yep. Wrong button. Whew. Okay. You. Let's summon our own bird. After all, if these guys that work just like the hawks, and that means that they are pre-programmed to listen to whoever summons them. Nothing happened. Uh-oh. Cut! Darn it. I will kill that thing. All right, you wise guy. Oh, there we go. Ah! Blah, blah, blah. Nope. Um, sir, what are you doing? Oh, I was supposed to jump at him there, I think. Okay, I understand what I need to do. I'll get him next time. I'll get him next time. Okay. I've had it to here with you and your bird. Okay. So 
So I can't hurt him right now, I don't think. I, I'm pretty sure I've established that by now. I need to dodge his arrows until he does this. And then strike when the trumpet sounds. Yes, there we go. Oh, you're going back in for another one straight away. You're not gonna play with your arrows anymore? Or are you all out of ammo? Sorry about that trumpet bird. I had to get rid of your rider. Yeah, not so tough now without your big bird. Link, be nice to the trumpet. Hey, stop it! I'm your new master now. Settle down. Hey, why don't we use this guy to get us all the way to the lake's water source? Yup. We get to ride the trumpet. It's absolutely silly and I love it. Here we go! Trumpet bird time! So, yep. We can fly around in all directions. We dash with A. And uh, we are being shot upon by shadow goblins. Whew. I'm pretty sure crashing into things also hurts us. Just keep going. Dash whenever I can to dodge. Uh oh. Oh, they're starting to get crafty now. Dropping rocks on us. Luckily, as long as we keep dashing and stay low, they're not much of a threat. Looking at the map, we are about halfway through the course. Whoop. Oh no, that one's coming on us. Woo, that was close. Whew. Okay, got a sharp turn coming up. Not too dangerous on its own, but it could be hiding something which it did not seem to be. Speaking of hiding stuff, I'm pretty sure that there's not anything like hidden heart pieces in this segment. Ow! Oh, that was bad. Okay, but well, we survived. Oh, no! We fell off the trumpet. Hey, careful now. What do you think, should we try again? Yes. I don't heal, do I? Nope, and we start over at the beginning. Forgot about that detail. That is honestly kind of rough. Oh, well, it is what it is. All I gotta do is uh, not get hit. <laughs> and not fall off again, which is the consequence for ramming into things. All right, keep going. Go under. I probably could go over them too, just fine, but I feel a lot safer going under. Okay, that one's gonna fall forward, so I'm just gonna stick to the side. And it was when they started doing the falling rocks that everything fell apart. Keep on trumpeting, trumpet bird. We might have plenty to fear, but you don't. Okay, I'm gonna slow it down a little. There, that's where they started falling. That's where I got hit. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, and dash! Huh? And we are home free! Thank you for your service, Trumpet Bird. Upper Zora's River. Ah, oh, we're already here? That bird turned out to be more useful than I expected. Well then, where's the village of the Zoras? Let's look for it. It's getting 
cold. Hurry up! In a minute, Midna. I got stuff to do. I mean, what are those sores up to anyway? The rivers were totally dry, right? I can't work like this. <sighs> uh, cold. Uh, I miss my fur coat. Hmm. Minna's talking about the cold. The spirit's talking about the cold. Wonder what that's about. Uh, something for us to figure out, maybe. Um, okay. I don't think I can actually jump across, and I don't... Wait, where am I supposed to go? Because, like, I'm not getting a prompt to jump across with Minna. And this is obviously kind of low. Am I just supposed to go this way? Ah, I'm just supposed to go this way. Yeah. No wonder it's cold. Things are frozen. That's, uh... That's not supposed to happen. This is a river and lake. This is not supposed to be completely iced over. Mayhap the Twilight denizens have something to do with this. Zora's Domain. Oh! Hey, what's going on here? I thought it was getting colder, but who would have thought that it would be all frozen? This is the Zorbills, right? Why don't I see anything? Wow! Anyway, let's check things out. Let's find Zoras. Minda seems a lot less jovial than normal. Can't help but notice. And definitely a lot less snarky. Think she might be coming to terms on the gravity of the situation, maybe? Hold up. Oh. No, no, Minna, I don't want to... I, I didn't want to do that yet. I hear... Oh, I think that's just the wing beats of the bats. I thought I heard the grumble of uh, Shadowbug. I think we can get up from here. Let's go! Yeah! Whoa! Okay, watch out for falling icicles. More jumping! As we climb the... Death. As we climb the death. Okay, lesson learned. When going up there, um, time the jumps. Don't just blitz it. As I was doing. Uh, oh, I went the wrong way. Oops. Back across. And here I am about to do that without turning on Ganondorf. How dare I almost leave him out of this? Hup. At least that one's safe to go fast. Okay. Here is where I need to be patient. Yep. Whoa! Don't fall! Okay. And we made it! There's more shadow keys up here. There is a bombable wall down there. Nothing else I can really do up there, so... Let's go where we were supposed to go. Right here. Shadow Beasts! Finally! Oh. Hey. Hey, buddy. Thank you. Wasn't ready for the wall to pop up where it did.
And pop go the shadows! A portal's open here too! We can finally warp! If you want to be the heir of the one life for a moment, let me know. I'll take you there. Take a look at this though, down below us. There's the Zoras, frozen in the lake. Those, those are the Zoras! Wow, this is really strange. What in the world happened? Hey, what do you want to do? We can't just leave them like this. I think all we need is to follow them out. It does no good to stand here thinking. Let's leave and come back later. The portal should work for us. We need to find a way to melt the ice and then come back here. Indeed, that we must. Well, um, I think that this is actually a good spot to stop for the moment. So next time on The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we're going to thaw out the Zoras and hopefully make our way to the great uh, light spirit Lanayru. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.